There's a lot of work to be done on I-696 in Roseville, but now a battle is brewing over when workers can work. Good evening, everybody. Some people over in Roseville understandably do not like the idea of overnight construction work on the part of I-696 that is soon to be redone. And the city just took action to prevent that from happening this spring. And MDOT says, okay, but it comes at a price. Paula Tutman is, at Ro is in Roseville where they're trying to balance progress with peace and quiet. The problem? I-696, the entire stretch from Macomb moving west to Oakland County, and it's a mess. The Band-Aid fixes are becoming obsolete, and so MDOT, which now has the money to get the $90 million job done, wants to get it done. Westbound 696 closes for much of the year in the spring of 2018. Only Roseville has said, not so fast. We need to talk about overnight construction. We have a number of residential homes along the I-696 corridor, and we were concerned about the impact of those residents for 24 7 uh, construction. Indeed, there are neighborhoods that sit on the edge of the freeway and they are accustomed to the noise. But it's some of the anticipated construction noise that has Roseville officials saying, nope, not this neighborhood and not after 11 p.m. Other than just giving a carte blanche uh, waiver, uh, which would open the door up for unlimited nighttime construction. We want to make sure that we're able to address the concerns with our residents that live along that corridor. Here's the thing. There are some jobs that are climate or weather condition sensitive. They have to be done overnight or you have to wait for optimal conditions, which could extend the construction period, rack up costs and delay the project altogether. There's time and temperature sensitive work that happens if we pour concrete during the day. There's relief saw cuts that have to happen. Um, and if you don't saw it on time, it'll crack. By the way, relief saw cuts, really loud, raucous stuff. And neighbors are split on whether or not to suffer the extra noise for just a spell. This is the highest point of the freeway right here. There's no sound barriers at all. I mean, maybe a little bit with more people using the service drive than the freeway, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. But it looks like both sides are negotiating ways to collaborate with one another to get the job done. Set contractual language that, you know, prohibits that type of work at night. Okay, so the Roseville City Manager tells me that within the next 10 days or so, they expect to really tighten up the language with MDOT. They understand that they've got to shift things. They know there has to be overnight work, so maybe they can do this work in this amount of time instead of this amount of time. They say they don't want to get in the way of this project. There's only a small window of time that MDOT has the money to use to do this, guys. Interesting dilemma here, Paula. So is Roseville the only city voicing their concerns over all the noise? Well, I don't know if they're the only city. I know that there are three other waivers out for three other cities. I think it's Warren, Centerline, and Madison Heights. They don't want to prolong this. MDOT wants to collaborate with all of these cities to get this work done. Yep, interesting balance here. Okay, thank you, Paula.